The original Audiolab 8000A integrated amp was something of a landmark product when it was launched in the early 80s. It single-handedly established the Audiolab brand and set new standards in build, features and sound quality at the time. While not quite as ahead of its time as that old amp was, last year's 8200 CD player represented a big return to form for Audiolab and won our 2010 CD Player of the Year award. This 8200A amp is designed to match that player, so we have very high hopes indeed. A lot has changed over the years, but there's still something reassuringly familiar about the new 8200A integrated amp. It mirrors the original 8000A's clean-cut appearance and retains a fair chunk of its electronic engineering principles too. This is no retro product though. While this amplifier is obviously related to what's gone before, it's clearly a modern amplifier with the component quality and circuit refinements any top quality contender needs. The feature count is very good. There are more line level inputs and outputs than you'll need, a headphone output, plus, rather usefully, the option to split the internal pre and power sections and use them in just about any configuration you can think of. True, the power output is a rather conservative 60 watts per channel, but as ever, it would be a mistake to get too bogged down in the figures. We found that the 8200A is more than capable of driving all sorts of speakers, from Kess Q300s to our massive reference ATC SEM 50s. And the sound? The 8200 has a brightly lit presentation that brims with detail. The words clean and crisp keep coming to mind. You can add a wide open soundstage and an impressive combination of speed and punch to the list of Audio Labs plus points. However, all isn't perfect. Play something low key, such as Daydreamer by Adele, and there's something missing. It's the kind of natural warmth and subtlety that class leaders such as Roxanne's Candy K2 have an abundance. A little more rhythmic integrity wouldn't go amiss either. The Audiolab 8200A then. It's undeniably a very capable amp, with detail and precision to spare. But it's just a little too clinical to really stir the soul like some of its rivals do, and that's why it misses out on a five-star verdict. <laughs>